All right, and uh, here we are. We're here to talk about the uh, Wild Thumper. Um, this is from Dagu and uh, Irex Engineering. It's a pretty big box. doesn't quite fit in the uh, entire camera here. But uh, basically, it's the six-wheel platform you've been seeing all over YouTube. That's uh, You see it going up and down stairs. You see it going through the snow. You see it going through the dirt. And we've got it here at the Rug Community, and we're here to do a little review and a couple of tutorials on the uh, Wild Thumper. We haven't opened it up yet, so this will be the first time we do. So let's uh, kind of go ahead here and get this going. Okay, so it's a pretty big box. Let's see what we've got in store for us here. So, go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we've got here. I'm going to move this box out of the way and just kind of put everything out over the table. All right, so, wow, this is big. Okay. So first thing we see is the uh, instruction manual. This looks like it's going to be a simple build. Um, there's not much to put together. It looks partially pre-assembled. Uh, yeah, it does look like that. So let's see what's going to happen with that. Let me put that off to the side. Yep, sure enough, the body itself is pre-assembled here. So as you can see, it's got the frame, the individual components down here, which these are DC motors and they actually move, you know, as you do it, as you can see there. It looks like the outer springs are a little bit easier to move, while this one's not as movable, but it's probably for stability. In fact, just by looking at it, I see there's double suspension on that unit, on that centerpiece right there. And I'm seeing here that we have a bunch of connectors. I uh, can't really see them there but there's a bunch of connectors right in there um, this looks like it's pretty good construction it's nice that they put these things together for us already it's basically a couple let's see here we have one two three four five so five of these aluminum blocks here standoffs and this upper uh, chassis which is you know to cover it probably put your components and whatnot and then you have six DC motors so it's clear to me that these motors are Connected through these cords, these cables here, these connectors. Let's see if you can let's see if you can see those in there. It's a bit hard, but basically that's that. So let's put this off to the side here. What else do we have? Next part up, we have these six rubberized, rubberized wheels, and these are going to be used, obviously, to mount them on here pretty big. Uh, this is clearly something for outdoors. This is going to be good. This is going to be a lot of fun actually once we get this going. And let's see what else we have here. And looks like we have six axles to put together here. With an Allen key. And that's what the kit includes. Nothing else. And that means that we're free to use just about any controller we're going to use. So just so it's clear, anything else that we do going forward is going to be custom. does not come with this kit. And we're actually going to put this together. So I'm going to move these off to the side here. And let's crank open the instruction manual to see what we have to do. Okay. So, looks pretty easy actually. Yep, we're basically just going to be putting it on and uh, putting on all these wheels. That's about it. Not much to do it here. How are these going to go on? So let's see here. Okay. So I think I, I see what we have to do. It doesn't look too hard. Let me just increase the brightness here so we can see a little bit better. Uh, so, yep, basically you're just going to unscrew one of these. This end's probably going to go with the tire. Yep, sure enough, that's what it does. Let's see how we're going to mount these here. Okay, does it matter? We're going to mount it. Okay. 
So basically, uh, the rim is a, you know, it's got a big well, deep, you know, it's a, it's got like a dish of some sort. Anyways, um, that's going to be the outside. The one that's pretty much flush is going to be the inside. And it's clear to me that this is like a hex, hex shape here nut, and there it fits right into that hole. And then you just use the one Allen key that you got to screw it in. Sure enough, yep, that's what it is. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm first going to go ahead and mount each one of these straight onto the, uh, let's see, yep, that's sure enough the correct step. We're going to mount each one of these onto each one of the DC motors that we have here. Okay, now on each DC motor, if you guys have never mounted a, one of these before, basically there's usually a flat part to the DC motor, the, you know, where the actual comes out. And that's the part that you want to put the uh, screw that's right there. Now let's see if I can zoom in while we do this. So sure enough, there's a flat part. I'm not sure if you can see it there. There's, it's flat on the top and then it's round all around. We're going to go ahead and make sure that, that screw is sitting right over that. S slide it in until it sits and just give it a quick turn. And that's it. We're going to come back afterwards and we're going to tighten it up with the allen key that's included with the kit but for now I just want to get this aligned and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all these flat the flat the flat part to the uh, to the uh, DC motors you know, the actual on the DC motors is pointed upwards so this is not in the instruction kit but I'm going to go ahead and just turn these with an allen with a wrench See if it's even possible to make this easier for me to. Nope, uh, doesn't look like it, so I'm not going to force it. So this one is off to the side, like so, and just unscrew it enough to the point where you can screw it in. 